Viral information flows have changed the dynamics of traditional organizational communication. Now more than ever, the use of digital media, particularly social media networks, have drastically altered the course of participatory democracy, the formation of digital alliances, marketing strategies for a new era of development, how we transmit information to and from one another across the world, and the scale of social movements. A bundle of content could be considered viral when it is shared exponentially across and between further degrees of separation than the creator originally possessed in his or her immediate social network. Viral content has the power to unify, persuade, or polarize, and thus must be treated with caution when being created or shared. What we begin to see in the digital 21st century formation of networks is the horizontal alignment of new groups of data points, or people, who only in the recent past have attained the ability to change the previously vertically aligned structure of information distribution. Previously, most news or vital information was disseminated from a single source, be it a newspaper, radio, television station, or public figure. Today, with the growth of the internet and interactive digital networks like social media, information can be sourced, photographed, verified, shared, and bundled in different ways instantaneously from data points or people across the world in the blink of an eye. To stay competitive in the global marketplace then, public and private institutions must adapt marketing strategies that are able to keep up with trends and changes in global demographics, all increasingly occurring within and across digital networks. Policy pressures and bottom-up demand for more responsible environmental and social stewardship also calls for more larger institutional practices like deliberative democracy and multi-stakeholder inclusion in decision-making regarding policy, resource management, and the progression of social movements and human development. This tool must then be used sensibly. Fake news, for example, appears and acts just as any other horizontally aligned information sharing system would, but the content generator intentionally aims to deceive or mislead its targeted audience. For politicians on social media, corporate entities targeting susceptible groups for marketing ploys, or pushing political or social agendas, we must also equip ourselves with the tools to identify false information and collaboratively work toward mutual information verification systems that protect us from deception and promote cooperation. Viral content, arguably the most influential, appeals to the human condition, elicits emotional response, and often enables users to unify in action if the content is both educational and inspiring. However, we must be careful not to become subject to groupthink or forced group consensus for the sole intention of fitting in or growing a unified crowd. One of the most valuable aspects of the newly horizontally aligned global information sharing system is that our differences more clearly may become our strengths. The instantaneous sharing of digital content permits meaningful debate, the discovery of new perspectives, and deliberative participation in political occurrences to reach the best idea. In these two modules, the theory of mass communication in a digital world is explored, as well as global trends and actionable steps as to how to affect tangible change within these media.
Greetings from San Diego, California. This interactive multinational video conference is reaching you live in English and Spanish through a unique and complex international telecommunications network via satellite, microwave, cable, and the internet. This program brings together distinguished organizations representing education, business, government, and civil society in the Americas, China, India, and Europe. We appreciate your participation. This is the fourth International Training Center video conference of the year 2018 series entitled Strategic Resources and Competitiveness in an Uncertain World. We invite our viewing audience and affiliates that may not have the support materials or the participants manual for this program to contact us directly at info at itcsandiego.com to assist you with a copy. Thank you all for your participation and for being part of our international network. I'm Dr. Miguel Cardenas Jr., Chief Academic Officer at San Diego Global Knowledge University and the moderator of today's program, which presents the important topic, organizational communication in a viral environment, the power of technology-driven information flows. Viral information flows have changed the dynamics of traditional organizational communication. Technology and collaboration networks have propelled this phenomenon into marketing and social collaboration at all levels of society. What is virality? Is it a specific kind of WAM, word of mouth, meme or information cascade? Or is it a distinct process or phenomenon in its own right? Organizations today compete in uncertain and networked globalized environments. Viral content is what stands out as remarkable or special in a vast sea of content moved by collaboration networks that operate with different modalities, media, and technologies. How can our marketing strategies leverage desired viral information flows? What is real and not real among messages and news? What are the realities of social networks? This timely video conference will present the evolution of traditional organizational communication into a more powerful network system of interactive information flows that has become today one of the key strategic resources of globally competitive organizations. The distinguished invited speaker will give an overview of the global reach of current social networks, including the concept of virality and how this phenomenon can transform people's awareness and behaviors around issues and events. He proposes 10 principles to follow, which greatly increase one's chances of achieving digital influence, reviews global trends in media usage, and reflects on the validity of information and messages as applied to business and politics. In a module titled Mass Communication in a Digital World, our invited speaker, Henry Mooney, defines the concept and phenomenon we call virality, its effects in society, organizations, and our personal lives. How digital networks provide a multitude of platforms for conducting communication and our existence within this new digital environment, which Herman Daly describes in his well-known book entitled Beyond Growth. In a module titled Global Trends in Media Usage and Their Significance, Mr. Mooney reviews global growth and usage trends of the main social media platforms available today, pointing out that Instagram is now preferred by the younger generations and Facebook by the older users. He also describes the factors that contribute to successful viral marketing tactics and how viral content flows must be informative, understandable, and accompanied by actionable steps to encourage skill building and knowledge acquisition that benefit our communities simultaneously. 
our invited speaker, Mr. Mooney, was raised in Southern California, USA, earned a bachelor's degree in environmental studies from Stony Brook University in New York, followed recently by a master's degree in sustainable development with a focus in renewable energy from the Stellenbosch University in South Africa. An avid lover of travel and science, he has accounts of economic and social realities in over 40 countries to date. Henry has incorporated his formal and informal learning experiences into a unique perspicacity of the world focused largely on sustainability, technology networks, and communication. Mr. Mooney is in motion to further his education and further broaden his mind by pursuing a PhD, taking concepts from his master's dissertation and applying them to the study of global dynamics. Welcome to the program today. Let's begin with module one. Virality may be defined as the mass interpersonal communication of specific digital content, which either grows or perishes within its host dependent on the nature of the content and the degree to which its host is hospitable for its growth and distribution. Measuring whether or not something could be defined as viral becomes somewhat difficult with subjective and, so far, unquantifiable variables put into consideration. This is because, in addition to measuring virality in terms of quantifiable viewership and the rate at which content is being shared, we may also qualitatively measure the degree to which something is viral by measuring an elicited emotional response. Berger and Milkman's 2012 study measuring virality in terms of emotional response demonstrate that positive content may become viral to a greater degree more easily than negative content, but the causal relationship between variables is more complex. Content that evokes more engaging thought and more complex emotions such as awe, anger, anxiety, or confusion becomes more viral. Content that evokes less complex emotional responses or less engaging thoughts is less likely to become viral. However, as emotional responses are also functions of biological factors and social influences of the viewer, virality is not only contextual in the properties of the content, but the capacity of its host to mentally engage and conjure more complex emotions. Virality, then, can not only be quantifiably measured in viewership and sharing, but qualitatively evaluated in terms of cognitive and emotional influence. Assuming a bundle of content is considered viral, its movement becomes even more difficult to track across media platforms of different types. However, Understanding content movement behavior is often made easier when viewed through contagion theory. Originally conceptualized in 1895 by Gustave Le Bon, in that, in a crowd, every sentiment and act is contagious, and contagious to such a degree that an individual readily sacrifices his personal interest to the collective interest. In the context of modern-day virality, the natural tendency for crowds to achieve groupthink in sentiment and behavior may apply across digital platforms instead of in traditional, actual groups of people. For better or for worse, the hypnotic effect of more complex, elicited emotional responses from viral content acts to unify the crowd and collective interest is prioritized. Understanding contagion theory may help us understand the sharing of viral digital content in the present and in the future, and the implications of using virality as a tool for social change. So how does network structure affect the diffusion of viral content? Some studies reinforce the idea that this is dependent upon the type of contagion or content 
in addition to their hosts. A 2013 study suggests that complex contagions, or less infectious diseases, require social reinforcement and deliberate sharing a among close and like group members in order to spread. For real world context, an example could be the sharing of technical specifications of a certain type of technology across other players in the same technical industry. People outside of that group may not understand the information that is being shared or even care very much. Conversely, the more universally understandable the content becomes, like more simple contagions, the easier it becomes to spread. Organizations today may take contagion theory to not only understand public behavior, but to either target specific groups or disseminate information sharing to the widest, lowest common denominator in choosing strategies for content sharing. Certain trends in the globalization of goods, services, and information make the digital playing field more competitive, and viral content emerges as what is considered remarkable or special in a vast sea of content moved by collaboration networks that operate with different modalities, media, and technologies. However, it may be unwise to suggest that organizations are solely responsible for using and understanding virality in a sensible manner. Now more than ever, access to knowledge and vast networks of individuals are increasingly immediately at our fingertips in a very literal sense. Mobile and digital networks are among the fastest growing sectors of human behavior. In fact, there are more people on this planet with mobile phones than toilets. I have heard recently that in this generation, we not only use social networks and digital alliances, but actually are beginning to exist within them. The impacts on institutional arrangement and their marketing strategies would then be to further focus on public engagement in a horizontal manner, which encourages a myriad of other best practices like multi-stakeholder collaboration and deliberative democratic process. Drawing from a book by Manuel Castells entitled Communication Power, Castells describes the impact of what he calls self-managed mass communication, where an exponentially growing number of distributed data points, or people, communicate horizontally with each other in knowledge sharing as opposed to the historical, vertically aligned manner in which information sharing systems of the past, such as newspaper, TV, or radio, were constructed from a singular source. The possibilities for radical change as a result of new self-managed mass communication networks are immense. As mentioned before, 